welcome to the Bloom Diary Season 2. I'm your host, Emily. I'm your host, Raina. Um, it's been a while since Season 1. Like, mm -hmm. we last recorded Season 1, so we're really excited to be back for Season 2. We have a lot of good things coming up for you guys, so... But anyways, we're just going to go ahead and start talking about the topic that we wanted to discuss with you guys today. And it is New Year's resolution for 2024. But first, did we meet our New Year's resolution for 2023? So uh, mm. what were your New Year's resolution for 2023? My New Year's resolution, well, I would say I had like a whole vision board of the goals that I wanted to accomplish. I finally mm -hmm. got a plant that I wanted for the longest time. <laughs> Oh my god, wait, is that one plant that you showed me? Yeah, it's so big now, but uh -huh. it's just gonna grow bigger um, mm -hmm. every year, so I'm um, hopefully yeah. I can be a better plant mom this year. I'm still watering it and feeding it soil, so, mm -hmm. um, so I accomplished being a plant mom. I do want more plants, so <laughs> um, what else did I meet for this year? I would say just putting myself first. Um, mm -hmm. I think that's really important, especially when I'm going through like a lot of changes, especially yeah. this year. Um, I moved back in with my parents and um, I've just been really prioritizing the relationships that are close to me as well as friendships too. So I mm -hmm. think that's just really important to me. And that's just something I want to continue on to the next upcoming year too. So yeah. What about you, Emily? Did you meet any of your resolutions? I don't think I had like a list of resolutions for this mm -hmm. year. It's just, I think off of my vision board that I had for 2023. It's just things I want, you know, that I want to happen. Hopefully. Is there anything else that you would want to avoid at this upcoming year? Just negative, negative energy. Like, mm -hmm. anyone with negative energy, I want to stay away from that. Oh, yeah. Because I felt like I didn't meet quite, like, I didn't meet a lot of people with that kind of energy. But I know people that are, like, close around us, you know, that carry negative energy. And um, I just want to stay away from them. I don't want to interact with them, you know. And just... You know, I don't want to run into negativity at all. Just mm -hmm. a lot of positivity in this upcoming year. So, yeah, yeah that's, that's great. That. Mm -hmm. For me, I would say not just avoiding negativity, but mm -hmm. also avoiding like, you know how in some cases where you're trying to be friendly and you're trying to make new friends yeah. and then you mm -hmm. want the same energy back, even yeah. in your own relationships, like I would try to just have that same relationship with the people that I have. But then mm -hmm. um, sometimes they don't reciprocate in the same way, you know? Yeah, yeah. And then I feel like sometimes it's good to let some people go. And, mm -hmm. you know, it's a whole new year and everything will be okay. And yeah. I think it's, it's and, you know, we're growing up and mm -hmm. sometimes, you know, we're adults now. So sometimes things don't happen the way you want it to happen. And it's fine because, you know, I think it's just finding people that match the same energy as you. It's mm -hmm. really good for your soul. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I had, I learned it the hard way, you know, always trying to have people like, like I've always wanted everyone to like me, you know, mm -hmm. but it's, it's fine. No one, not everyone has to like you. And Sometimes there are people that you just have to cut off in life, and that's okay. People yeah. come and go in your life. Some people aren't meant to be in your life, and that's that's okay, you know? Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah definitely. Um, let us know in the comments below if you're watching this uh, video or if you're on Spotify. Um, mm -hmm. Definitely comment down your resolutions or what you're looking forward to for the new year. I think it'll yeah. be really interesting to look at. Yeah, and see what you guys 
want for this upcoming new year how do I, how are we feeling how are we feeling 2024 are we feeling oh like i just have this feeling it's gonna be good or oh i don't know like you know how are, how are we feeling this coming new year i feel like it's gonna be be a blank slate for me so i feel mm-hmm. so excited i'm gonna sign up for the gym again <laughs> hey <laughs> yeah i'm just very excited to mm-hmm. see what's in store for me um mm-hmm. i do want to you know go out and try new things and so i feel like 2024 is going to be a really good year for me um That's what about good. you i feel like 2024 will be busy me Mm -hmm. i feel like i just have the thought of feeling of like i'll be too focused on work you know Mm -hmm. and i'm trying to like tell myself like hey let's take a step back you know we want to work too hard this year but we still want to work hard this year you know maybe you should put taking breaks (laughs) on your vision board (laughs) oh my god yeah because like i don't know how to take breaks it's like when i take a break i take too long of a break and then i don't get any of my work done so maybe I just need to learn how to like take a break, like an actual break break. And then when it's time to go back to work, it's time to go back, you know? Yeah. Um, yeah, I should definitely put that on my vision board. <laughs> but yeah, I feel, I also feel like, I don't know. I have like a good feeling. Like I definitely don't want to waste any single day of 2024 because we are turning 25 this coming year well you're turning 25 soon because you're born in january and i don't want to be (laughs) me i I don't want to be mid 20s yet i don't want to be mid 20s yet like it was it's still nice and fun to be early 20s but i definitely don't want to be mid 20s yet it isn't i mean it looks fun a lot of people say that 30s or late 20s it's like the new teen age or like the new I don't know, like, you're still young, you know? Like, your but, golden years. Yeah, but yeah. I don't know. I don't want to be 25 yet. I, I still think I'm 19. <laughs> yeah, honestly, I I still feel very young because there's so many things that I still don't know about. Yeah. Um, and I'm still exploring um, life myself. So, mm-hmm. yeah, I'm, I'm turning 25 soon. And so that that just feels unreal to me. And mm-hmm. I feel like I don't have that 25-year-old mentality yet. <laughs> mm-mm, mm-mm. But, yeah, you know, it. that's, that's just how it's going to go. Um, let me see. Do you have any other questions um, regarding, like, resolutions or vision boards? Mm, not really. I think that's pretty much it for what I have for, like... 2024 i don't know it feels weird saying 2024 Mm -hmm. it does i still i still feel like it's 2020 like i don't know like ever since covid happened uh (laughs) yeah yeah after the pandemic it's just like yeah 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 like all those years just feel the same like Mm -hmm. right after covid going on to this new year we do want to see what you guys want to see from us um Mm -hmm. so definitely comment down below what kind of videos or podcast topics that you're interested in and we'll take a look at them and maybe you know your topic will be focused on in one of our videos and so definitely let us know Um, we're also taking requests in a google form so you can also put yourself as anonymous we really don't check out the names and Uh -uh. so yeah (laughs) definitely let us know what kind of topics you want us to discuss about do you have anything else to add nope Okay, and with that, we can wrap up this first episode of Season 2. Thank you for tuning in. You can find us on Instagram and TikTok. And we'll see you in the next episode. Bye. Bye.